All right, let's make some wings, specifically some low budget waterproof travel ready wings. I made these ones in about three days for like $20. And since then they have been drowned multiple times and stuffed into many a suitcase for photo shoots and conventions across the globe. Starting out with the base, it's quite simple, just some fabric tied into a harness and then attached to a long piece of garden wire. You can see here I've got the wire twisted around the fabric and have a good amount of the wire going down the back for support. To create the thicker top part of the wing, I hot glued a generous amount of polyester stuffing onto the wire. As I glued on more, however, the wire started to droop under the weight, so I gave it some extra support by modifying the wire base. Once more satisfied with the wire support, I got to shaping and trimming the stuffing until it looked like a nice strong wing bone. For the wing shape, I used interfacing fabric. This is generally used to make garments stiffer, but I found it fantastic for wings because it's lightweight, waterproof, looks super angelic when lit from behind, and was only $4 a meter. Once that was pinned into place, I cut out another piece of fabric to cover the wing bone and sewed everything together. This here was the hardest part of the project, getting the fabric to smoothly cover the wing bone and lie flat took a lot of pinning and adjusting as I went. Unfortunately, it was also all hand sewn because there was no way I was getting a sewing machine in there. Finally, onto the feathers. I cut out a heck ton of different sizes, making sure to iron them out first since this fabric does crease easily. But please make sure your iron is set to the lowest setting, otherwise you will have a very toasty angel. After experimenting with a few different design options, I started pinning the biggest feathers at the bottoms and tips, extending the ends by inserting some large wooden white skewers, and then slowly adding on as I worked inwards. This was by far the most time-consuming part of the project, as each feather had to be pinned and then sewn into place, attempting to hide the white thread as much as possible with the placement of the surrounding feathers. As I got closer to the wing bone, the feathers got smaller and smaller, and I made sure to hide the seam with as many baby feathers as I could. And that's about it! Uh, while these wings might not pass for a top quality build, I do love the design because it's incredibly cheap and beginner friendly. You can easily reposition the wings into different shapes, and other than needing some extra ironing, they are super durable. Thanks for watching, and let me know if you decided to make your own!